is up guys, Star Moons back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today I bring you Transformers, Earthrise, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Cliff Jumper. And this is his box. And here's the size, showing all the figures in the line. Well not all of them, but some of them. Uh, here's the back, showing the figure itself. He has 18 steps for transformation. Transformation is actually pretty easy, yet cool. And here's some cool artwork of Cliff Jumper. It looks actually pretty neat. I like the fact that they got the feet. I thought they got the feet just how I wanted them to be. You know, kind of like this kind of big rowboat type feet. But they fit the figure totally. Which are also fairly easy to follow. Not, didn't give me too much trouble. Maybe you can see how everything kind of works out for itself. The backpack is detachable. Although, personally, I like it. I don't, I don't mind the backpack. And here's different things you can do with this uh, cannon. And at one time he could had slits on his feet because the episode occurred once. <laughs> all right. As for that said accessory, here it is in all its glory, and also it is capable of uh, breaking down. Before I break it down, let's take a good look at it. The barrel of cannon itself is all painted in nice silver paint. Lots of mold detail throughout. These cool little I don't know what these supposed to be, but I guess like a little prop for it. And uh, it's a nice more detail back here. No paint though. So it's a little paint here on the edges. Overall, it's pretty nice. Like I said before, you can't disassemble it. You just pull this out, pull this apart, and take these off. Like so. So you can have two smaller cannons. And I found that thing kind of cool about these little pieces here. That you can kind of attach them on the sides. They look kind of like a, maybe like little energy clips. You know, for your ammunition, which will both look, which look, look, which look pretty cool, I think, in my opinion. Something to do with them. In case you want to have them holding, you know, a Kimbo style. It's pretty nice. As for this little piece here, it's just kind of left on the side. You can plug it into his arm, which I'll be showing you guys here shortly. But yeah, this is basically what you do with it. He is looking mighty cool, if I say so myself. Now, I know there's been a lot of controversy about his price point and him being so much smaller. Um, in my opinion that, I think it's all right. Um, the quality is definitely here. It's just a little bit of a smaller package. But I, I got no problem with the, with the $20 price point for what this is now. That's just me, but you know, you, you gotta search your own feelings. Your own soul, if it were. If this is worth it to you. But moving past that, let's go on to how the figure looks. I think it looks damn good, honestly. The head is painted. Got a nice, nice silver paint there on the face. Nice blue on the eyes. Translucent uh, plastic here for the you know chest and what would be at the front of the car. Uh, nice paint accents for the feet down here. Nice silver, black. Mold detail here for what will become the headlights if you could open them. Everything looks pretty good. As for the back here, I wish that this right here was translucent plastic. Just to match this right here. And like I said before, you can't remove it. It's gonna give it a, I guess a slightly cleaner look, but when you turn to the back, it's kind of open. So I actually don't really mind this being back here. That's just me. For articulation, you can get a 360 for the head. Well, I'll take that back. Thought you could, yeah, you can. It's gotta kind of work around it. But it's on the mushroom peg and it's really tight. But you can get a full 360. As for the arms, they can move out this far. Can spin the bicep, giving you a full 360. Elbow bend, hands on a mushroom peg, that can give, also give you full 360. It's really nice. And give you a full 360 at the top, full spin. Same little side, full 360 spin. Latch out that far, bicep spin. 360 elbow bend mushroom pig here so you can get a full 360 spin out of that also here's another cool little thing for this figure he doesn't have an ab crunch and everyone knows i love ab crunches but well i shouldn't say he doesn't have one he does have one it's the opposite of being forward it's actually a bit of a back ab crunch as you can kind of see let me get here there we go Kind of a back end crunch. And I think for the most part it's just due to transformation. But he does have that. 
As for the legs, you can kick out that far, that far back. You can spread full trowel. Van Dam, as it were, people like to call it. As for the knee, the knee bend, bend back that far, can almost kick his own ass, but it's not double hinged. The feet, the big rowboats, <laughs> they can bend that far in, which is that's one hell, that's one hell of an ankle tilt. So I mean, you can't. You, matter of fact, as far as it goes, yeah, that's that's that's, that's one of the best ankle tilts I've ever seen in my life. Totally unpractical, but it can bend that far in. <laughs> Same other side, kick all the way up, back, up that far, B bend, feet bend all the way in like so. I think they bend forward, did they bend forward? No, no forward bend on toe. Which is okay, because honestly the ankle tilt bends in that far, I mean, Jesus Christ, we don't need it. <laughs> now, let's bring his accessories back into play. Now I already have, I already have them in their little smaller gun configuration. But I'm just gonna show you guys that he can hold he can hold both of them. And it's actually my preferred way to have them hold these is actually in their smaller gun form. So you get kind of something like that. But I think it's cool. And those side things can kind of go inside like clips, which I like. As for this thing, um it has a little let me find it, it has like a little slit right here. That piece of a piece of plastic can peg in right here on the arm. I think it was kind of weird. But it's something you can do. Let's see if I can get in there. There we go. So you can get that right there. Also, if you want to, take, take, let's take this away. I'll give me that. You can put it back into its full bazooka glory. You know, because that is the thing. Go ahead. Oops. Go ahead and take these. Put it back together. Like so. There we go. Pop that off. Pop it back up here. Matter of fact, I think I let me spin it. There we go. Bring him back in, and he can hold his bazooka if you so want him to, like so. Me personally, I I do kind of prefer him to have two smaller cannons, but like I said something you can do, choice you can make for yourself. Now let's go ahead and lose a gun. I have a, I have another Earthrise figure because I only have two. But I have another one that I can show for comparisons of Earthrise. Let's go ahead and bring in Star Screen. Although I have to be honest, I had no intentions to ever transform him again, but I did for the review. I was also I was gonna leave him in jet mode forever. But uh here's the daytime look. And I think uh given that he's a car and this is a F-15 jet, I think that scale kind of works for me. I'm not mad at that at all. But let me go ahead and put Clip Jumper in uh, alt mode. I think it looks pretty cool.
and here he is all transformed. Um, transformation is fairly easy, but it's just a, for mine, it's just a whole lot of mashing. It's not any elegant way to say it or put it. You gotta like mash a lot of things in there, I mean. Jesus. Even they don't have it all tapping correctly, probably. But it's close enough to how, you, you, get the, you get the gist of how it both transform and how it both look. So yeah, uh, just to look at it, I think it looks really good. Really good, really good little micro car. I actually really enjoy the way it looks actually. This is, I think I, I might like it better in car mode than robot mode. I'm not sure how I want to leave him, but I dig it. Um, I like the nice clear Alibot symbol here on top. He should have one on his chest when he's in robot mode. But I get why there's not one because, you know, it didn't even look weird to have one on the hood and one up here. I don't know. I still may go back and add one. I don't, I'm not sure. And uh, I, like the blue I like the blue transparent plastic for the windshield. But I wish they had kept that same energy. It may hit that way for on, on the back. If not, at the very least, painted this blue to somewhat match the front. For the front of the car, it looks really good. Nice black paint here on the grill. Silver paint here underneath the grill. A little silver paint here on the sides for I guess it'd be more like your, your rain lights or fog lights. Both of looks really good. Rims are painted nice silver. The back is also painted. Silver and black back here. Looks good. Yes, his fists are totally sticking out. You cannot mash those any higher in there. It's just kind of how it's gonna have to be. I guess they're uh exhaust pipes. I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> but you know it's all good. It still, it still looks good. Uh, now for that accessory, let's bring the bazooka back in. You may have noticed he does have a hole on the back here. If you take these two clips off here, then move them to the back. I believe it goes to the back. If I'm not mistaken. Nope. Take it back. Going like this. There we go. Plug them in backwards on the back. Uh. There we go. And you can plug it on top, right? Huh. So you kind of get a bazooka on the back here. I guess you might want to twist this right here up or at least sideways to get the handle out of the way. So you can do that. So yeah, that's the thing you can do. Also, you can take this thing apart again. Let's see, remove these, these. Matter of fact, let's take the whole damn thing apart again. Now you can do that thing from that one episode that he did. <laughs> Take these right here and put these under his wheels. I get them on the camera. There we go. Put the other right here. Uh, they're going in right here, by the way. And you're using this peg here. Just plug this in like so. So you give them kind of the kind of the ski deal as far as the cannons go. They too have a placement. And take your little holes in your handles and got little pegs over here. You can put these on here, like so. I think I'm doing it right. There we go. Doing the same thing on the other side. There, bam, there we go. You get this. This is a, uh, yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> uh, it's a shame that there's like no skis for the for his back wheels, but even if there were, I'm not quite sure where to go, honestly. Oh, and this thing here, this thing does, uh, I believe this pig in somewhere, folds out like so, and then you plug it in there, you know, so you get a complete storage for everything while he's in his, uh, ski mode, and I, I believe take these two pegs here, they can kind of go in his hands, I think, well, maybe they don't, take that back, let's see, I think, I think I can get these two pegs here to go up here, let me, let me try it that way. Some of they would, and they totally do. That's right. There we go. So, there we go. Except for it's from an episode where he did the thing where he slid down a hill, and yeah, that's the thing. All right. <laughs> it's good for his looks. Let's go ahead and get a size comparison, shall we? Here we are back again with Earthrise Star Screen. And yet again, you know, given the size of a car compared to the size of a jet. I think a car would, you know, if you're going with real, real world scale here, I think a jet would still be still be much bigger than a car. So taking this car would be even smaller. At least I think it would be. I don't know, man, I'm wrong. But uh, yeah. But I think overall, they do look good together. 
I can get down with this, you know. I'm not mad there at all. Mm-hmm. Alright, I don't want to keep you guys too long, so let me go ahead and get this guy transformed back and come back for that final thought. Alright, my final thoughts. Um, I think it's cool. I think it's worth the money. I know a lot of people said before, he's too small for that $20 price point. And I think you're not wrong. But at the same time, you know, it's all about opinion. And my opinion is that I don't want them going smaller than this for 20 bucks, but I think for what you get here, engineering and just uh, level of paint you get. And also, I don't know if I spoke on this enough times or at all, but I like the head sculpt. I could definitely see what's getting a bumblebee out of this very easily. Uh, I think he's worth the money. I enjoy him. He's got enough articulation. He's got enough articulation. Um, the accessories he gets, you know, the bazooka and everything, uh, it makes sense. You know, he used it before an episode. Plus, you can break it down to smaller handguns, which is always good. Uh, he, he scales well, I think, with Starscream from the line. And I, uh, man, I, th I think he's, I think he's good. I think he's worth the money. Like I said, for far the price point goes, is your opinion on it. So he gets a recommend for me. Especially if you can find them. I had a hard time. I didn't have a family member, a cousin of mine, go out and get it for me. So, uh, <laughs> in my area, he's not the, he's not readily that available even now. Especially with this whole uh, virus malarkey going on. But anyway, if you can find them, get them, worth the money. With that said, before I end this video, uh, I just want to tell everyone to follow the Jetticons. If you're not, you're totally missing out. They're putting out quality, put out quality, quality content almost daily. And you can find their links down here below, down there, and down there. As always, also, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my videos. Without you, there is no me. Trust me, I wouldn't do this if you guys didn't care. And I appreciate all of you. And that's been pointing out my videos. It may seem like an impossible feat, but I'm trying to hit 500 before the end of the year. I think it can be done, but I can only do it with you guys' help. I can't do it myself. I can do many things, but I can't get me to 500. I need you guys' help. So if you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Share me. Like me. Dislike me. If you dislike me, tell me why. I, I can improve. Come on, baby. I can do better. All right. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, until next time, this has been Sardom Noonspa, also known as the Black Gentleman. Out here doing God's work, reviewing these figures. Until next time, peace out.